Hi, this is our new section on ASME code calculations, uh, 3A2 Chapter 2. Um, just to give you an idea of what we do in this section, um, we have lots of parts that are used inside of a boiler. So I have a tube here, for instance. Um, and what we want to be able to do is know with some certainty how much pressure this can hold. Or for a given pressure, how thick of material do I need? And so that's the type of thing that we do in this, this section of the course, is we're going to look at pressure parts, and we're going to go through the calculations required to decide how much thickness or what is the maximum pressure that a part can hold. We have a number of objectives to cover at the third class level, so we're going to go through them as we go through the course. Um, but generally what we have are a few different sections. We have tubes that we need to be able to calculate. We have uh, piping. We need to be able to calculate heads. Um, and we need to be able to calculate some capacities of safety relief valves. Our first section is going to be tubes and some of our um, piping calculations. And then our second week is going to be heads and safety relief valves. So we'll break it up into two sections. So why do we have uh, ASME code? Well, it's a culmination of a number of things that we have. We have operational experience, engineering and knowledge, desire to improve safety, um, advances in metallurgy and boiler technologies, manufacturing technologies, and all these things are compiled together as best practices to create a code. And then from there, that leads to hopefully safer and more standardized boiler design and operation and acceptance by government and industry. So that's a good thing. And then as it progresses, what we get is continuous improvement. So these types of experiences feed back to the start and we establish ourselves with the ASME boiler and pressure vessel code. And this is a very old code. It's been around for a very long time and has gone through many, many revisions over the years. So our code section that we use or what we use out of the textbooks is gonna be part A2, chapter two. Um, and so we have a section on code calculations. So you'll have this as part of your A2 exam. So something that you need to be aware of when you go to write that exam. Most of our stuff in applied mechanics is the A1 exam. So this one's a little bit different for where you write. Now the ASME boiler pressure vessel code uh, is a a document that gets updated. The current version is a 2019 published version um, and you could go and seek out that code. Um, it costs you about $10,000 to purchase the code so it's quite an expensive code to get um, in order to test out you know what would be the the maximum pressure in a, in a pressure vessel. Um, we need a couple of these sections that we look at um, and we'll talk about how we can use the resources. So we have two primary sections. The number one section that talks about all of the calculations gives us the formulas and gives us all of the guidance about creating um, or calculating pressure vessel sizes and thicknesses um, is going to fall under section one. So section one of ASME code is construction of power boilers and we're considering that all of these parts belong to the power boiler category. Um, in addition to the construction details, we also need to understand some of the material properties. And material properties are found in section two, and in this case, part D, the metric properties are the, the tables that we're gonna use. Um, you can acquire these if you want um, in order for your TSSA exams, um, there's a bit of uncertainty over uh, what 
resources you can use, whether they're being supplied or not. Um, however, there is some uh, code books that you can purchase from Pan Global. There's the ASME extract uh, volumes one and two. Um, and um, we, for the most part, um, are going to use a uh, excerpt that I have up on Blackboard. So there is a section of the 2010 code and really not much changes from code document to code document. And if you understand the process for doing any calculations, the only thing really that might change are some material properties, which you're not going to memorize anyways, um, or else maybe some um, sort of um, cases that are um, uh, not so common uh, for, for boiler construction. So the basics, calculating tubing sizes, piping, really not much changes from code section to code section. And if you're familiar with one, then you'll be familiar with the other. Um, I really do encourage you to use the code sections because it really is a tool that you're going to need to use at some point. And if you're not familiar with reading it and interpreting the clauses and understanding where you can get the information from, then you're going to have a real hard time on your exams if you're not familiar with this document. So you can um, download a copy of that and I'd encourage you as we go through this course to make sure that you have a copy handy.